It'll be Halloween. Happy Halloween. I don't know about you guys, but when I started seeing the trailers for this, I was like, oh, hey, what do you know? It's a horror movie coming up with Adam Sandler on Netflix. I completely disregarded seeing Happy Madison on there. And I'm like, this might be so. Oh, it's PG-13. Oh, wow. We might get some of that good, serious Adam Sandler acting. Uncut Gems, all that. He's fucking astounding in Uncut Gems. Take a pause for that movie. Go order it on Amazon. Go rent it on Amazon. It's fucking fantastic. Back to this. This movie was a Happy Madison shit show, but you can't blame it for being that, okay? Once you real, once I realized, you know, oh, it's a Happy Madison movie, this is what he set out to do. Adam Sandler has already lived out his career. We know he's a good actor when he needs to be, and we know his real heart and passion relies on poop, pee, fart, boner jokes with goofy characters, with sweet little simple innocent messages resounding themes this movie just like you know water boy i seriously think this is a spiritual sequel to water boy this is him in an alternate universe he's literally playing bobby boucher in this movie anyways so here we go yeah let's just get into it i'm rambling this is just a quick review i just watched it i just wanted to give my initial impressions so hubie halloween is about hubie adam sandler's character he's like the town idiot the town fool he rides around on a bike all day he lives with his mom Who's played by June Squibb. She's awesome, by the way. Okay. She wears all these fucking crazy shirts. The first scene you get with her, she's in the background in the kitchen. Boner donor. That's what her shirt says. It's fucking hilarious. Okay. And the spirit of Happy Madison. Old ladies wearing ironic, sexually filthy shirts. Okay. Look forward to that for the rest of the movie. Back to his character, though. He is the town loser. He's a pariah. People think he's a joke. He acts just like Bobby Boucher. He talks like Bobby Boucher. He rides around on his bike all day. For some reason, come Halloween, he likes to be the like safety officer of Halloween. He drives around town. He enforces the rules. He speaks to the school. The kids chase him around. They fuck with him. They play awful pranks on him. But he just keeps being nice. I just spoke about messages. I really think that's where this movie tries to take you. But even the lowest of the low, in your opinion, the town idiot, they still have a good spirit. You should still just be nice to them. Just be nice people. Anyways, I'm off topic. So this movie is not scary at all. Shit goes down in the town and Hubie comes to the rescue. He's the only one who looks into it. This movie is sort of like a whodunit. It's got so many subplots though. The main thing, if you could focus past everything and laser into the end, there's people dying around town. They set it up in the beginning that... You know, a guy escapes from a mental hospital where Ben Stiller is the orderly, the orderly from Happy Gilmore. Dude likes to pee on lawns because it's a Happy Madison movie. But then Steve Buscemi's in there, subplot. Oh, he might be a werewolf. Oh, he's running. Th- oh, he is a fucking werewolf. But it doesn't matter. You get about eight fucking things thrown at you throughout here that act like they're going to build into the story, have a factor, and then they just disappear. Okay, it's like thrown in there for like cheap comedy effect. Let's get to the cast, though. I'm rambling. Like I said, quick review, initial impressions. The cast. Okay, you seriously, you got Julie Bowen. Does anybody remember Julie Bowen? She is the love interest in Happy Gilmore. And guess what? She's still cute. She's the love interest in this one. Total MILF. Kevin James. Maya Ra- uh, 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 yeah, Maya Randolph. Steve Buscemi. Ray Liotta. Tim Meadows. Keenan Thompson. Rob Schneider. Michael Chiklis. There's so many people in here. And then, like I said, Ben Stiller. So family fun, shut your brain off, fast food diet for your cinema brain type of movie. If you could not be a critic, if you could be a casual viewer who just wants to laugh, it's some stupid ass shit. Turn this on. Me and my four-year-old watched this. We had a blast. It actually kept her engaged. That speaks volumes of, I guess, the (laughs) seriousness of this movie it's exactly what it says it's okay in the spirit of happy madison you got jack and jill you got billy madison happy gilmore all of those and then this one kind of goes a little bit lower 
It's in the spirit of Ridiculous Six, which maybe is right here. And then this is there. It's a family fun Halloween movie. It was, a, I wanted to kick back and relax. I watched it. It was cool. It's not grounded in reality whatsoever, obviously. There's so many things you roll your eyes at in here. There's a funny fucking thing going on over and over again. This, this you know, running joke with this canteen. He has a canteen. And the thing is like a Swiss Army knife of canteens. He drinks out of it. He, <laughs> he like Spider-Man's, he like shoots a rope out of it and Spider-Man swings with it. He cleans with it. He breaks stuff with it. It's a weapon. It's a flashlight. It's hilarious. It's, it's not laugh out loud hilarious, but it's pretty fucking funny. Anyways, watch this movie. Give it a shot. This gets uh, one and a half bike barfs out of five. You'll know what I mean. This movie sets it up in the first five fucking minutes. We'll watch it. It wasn't bad. Seriously, let me know in the comments what you think about this movie. And as always, like, subscribe. Happy October, guys.